So Jerry asked a question uh, regarding .pat files or .kst files, and these are uh, Ketron styles from various generations of products that they've um, either introduced or have offered uh, probably for the past you know, 20 or 25 years. So given that he's been a Ketron user for a long time, he wants to know and make sure that all of his uh, pre-existing and former styles, which may have been in older formats, will work properly on the SD90. So it's really nice, uh, Jerry, is that um, a KST file is a KST file. So there is no conversion that has to go on there. Uh, they are really just uh, standard MIDI files that are in a certain format with some markers in it. So that's not a problem. However, a .pat file is an older generation uh, style, and um, that will not work natively on the SD90. However, they made it very nice, such that if you copy one file or even a folder over, the SD90 itself will automatically convert any of those .pat file extension styles to the newer .kst file extensions. So let me show you. So Jerry sent me a, um, um, a .pat file, which I've copied onto the SD90 already. So I'm going to go ahead in, and I'm going to uh, locate that file. And I put it down here in user styles. And I put it in this folder, unplugged, which is where I put you know sort of uh, anything that's not factory that I want to install. You can put it anywhere, though. It doesn't matter. And I go in, and I have, I have a lot of things in this directory, so I'm going to kind of search for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in C-A-R, because that's how it starts. And you'll see there that the very first item is uh, Karamea, and that's what he sent me. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that, and, and then click it again to, um, to try to select it. And it says... Um, do you want to convert this style to the newer KST style format? Now, had that been a directory or a folder that had many hundreds of .pats, you could have selected the folder, and then the SD90 will have gone through and converted every file for you uh, with only a single click. So that makes it very nice if you have hundreds or even thousands of styles that you're trying to port over to the SD90. So I'm going to say OK for the selected file. And so you'll see I do that, and when it's done, it says that it is now successfully converted, um, and it wants me to copy it to the user style folder. But I've already I've already done that. That's what this process is. I actually did the conversion from the correct folder that it was supposed to be in. You could do the conversions on a USB drive or or the um, or the um, SD drive that's, that you can plug into the side, and then after the conversion is over, you could copy in all the uh, the KSTs to the user style folder if you if you like. Okay, and then there you see Karamea. So the file's been converted for you. And uh, Jerry, I'm just going to play that so that you can uh, hear what it does. Make sure it's the style and give me confirmation that it is in fact converted properly. <laughs> 